Hey girl, hey! Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jen Seen, aka Jungle Naps. Today, you can finally stop fretting because you know what? We're doing my best in beauty video. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Let's go! And I don't know if you're excited, but I'm excited. I love getting together all of my favorites all throughout the year and sharing them with you guys and just having a great discussion about what you guys think are the best products from 2019, which is crazy. I can't believe the year went by so fast, but I got a lot to talk about, so please get yourself something to drink, something to eat, chill with me, because it's gonna be a long one today, and if you happen to notice you're not subscribed, girl, smash that subscribe button, okay? Join the family, ring that notification bell so that you never miss another new upload from me. Okay, so this video is mainly gonna be talking about just makeup today. If you guys want to see a skincare and hair care dedicated video, please let me know down in the comments. So we're gonna get straight into it. I'm gonna go kind of like sequentially, you know, and how you put your makeup on. So we're gonna start with primer. And I wanted to focus on products that actually make it into my life off camera, products that I use in the everyday makeup slash when I wanna get glam off camera category. So you guys know I use it on camera and off camera. So first primer I'm gonna talk about should be no secret, cause you see me use it all the time, is the CoverGirl, this is the Matte Ambition Mattifying Primer. Now this has an SPF 20, I've never noticed any flashback in it, but honey, it's so underrated, I've never seen anybody talk about it. It basically keeps your skin matte all day long. Now I'm an oily combination type of girl, so if you're super, super, super oily, you might have to touch up once, but if you apply this properly, you shouldn't have any problem. It does have a whitish texture on it, I'm gonna show you, but after you blend that in right here, you can't see anything at all. It looks, there you go translucent. I love that. This was definitely a surprise product for me. I didn't ever think that I'd be interested in anything from CoverGirl primer wise, but they really did surprise me. Now, next up in the primer category are two primers that I was just blown away by, and this is the brand Farsali. And I first noticed Farsali when they had all of those Instagram makeup videos where people would put like the unicorn tears or unicorn essence and they'd like drop it on their face or you know what I mean, and it'd like drip down. And I didn't really take them seriously, but I decided to take a leap of faith right here and I decided to go and try the Skin Tune blur. This is empty. Like, there isn't a drop left. <laughs> I squeezed out the last drop right before this video when I was putting my makeup on. And this just makes your skin look like there's an Instagram filter on it, but a little bit more realistic, like not scary, you know? <laughs> and I recently, this one's more recent, decided to try the liquid glass. And one of you guys suggested that I combine these, try the Skin Tune Blur first, and then the liquid glass second. And I tried that today, and I just wanna say I love it. Like, this is so beautiful. It's like a filtered natural radiance, but not oily. <laughs> not gross. One drop or two, would you like another one? Just like beautiful and glowing. So I kept it really concise for primers because honestly I've tried a lot and I like them but whenever I just know I want good makeup, I use those. So the next category is foundation. So, you know, I have to say, a lot of this year I went and I tried to stick to some of my favorites. A lot of them came out last year and the year before, and I really just wanted to like go through those foundations. But there are a few that I really liked, and the first one I wanna talk about has more of a barely there kind of natural makeup look, and that is the CoverGirl Matte Ambition Foundation, and I like to do it in two shades, so I use deep golden and deep neutral, depending on the time of year and all that jazz. But this is just such a beautiful foundation for when you don't really wanna do too much, maybe you're trying to go to work, you're trying to go to school, but you just wanna look natural, not like 
beat, beat, beat. Which, you know, there's nothing wrong with beat. I love that. But sometimes you just wanna like tone it down, you know what I mean? And I will say this does not have a lot of coverage. It's supposed to look more natural. So these are for days where you're okay with having your imperfections shine through. And I love that. I love that they have so many different foundations that give you different finishes and really appeal to different audiences. So if that sounds like something you're into, then you gotta give these a shot. Moving along right here, this foundation is for those of you guys that like to pamper yourselves, that want luxe, luxury, expensive, high dollar, okay? And this is from Pat McGrath Labs, and this is the Skin Fetish Foundation. I will say, my shade in this is, I believe it's Deep 29. This literally looks like skin. When I say skin, you should know what to expect. You're not gonna have a mattifying finish on it, as awesome as mattifying is, this just looks so natural, it has a satin finish. The only thing, this looks beautiful, but but it's not transfer proof. So that's like the only thing where I just wish I could have like a magic dropper and just drop it <laughs> into the foundation and make it transfer proof. But this sits beautifully on the skin. Sometimes when you put makeup on, it takes away from your skin's natural radiance if you have that. And then you gotta go back and try to like add that in with setting spray and highlight and all that jazz. But this really preserves that and that's what I love about it. Now if you're wondering as far as the coverage, it's more of a medium coverage so it's not full coverage. This is definitely for somebody that wants a little bit of coverage but still wants to look really like natural and fresh and that totally fits with Pat's brand vibe. All right, concealers. So I only have like two different kinds that I wanna to talk to you about. Oh, first we gotta talk about something I did not like this year. <laughs> Spill the tea, sis. I just remembered the Fenty concealer that's actually the liquid concealer that came out around January or February of this year. I have a whole video comparison. It was not for me. I love the brand Fenty. Fenty is amazing, but that concealer just, did not have enough coverage for me, creased really badly. It was so, so, so unfortunate, and I really wanted to like it, but it just didn't work out. Anyway, moving on, concealers that I like. We're gonna go ahead and talk about the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. I love this because it's full coverage, it stays in place, it doesn't crease as long as you set it appropriately, and it's affordable, and who doesn't love that, okay? And I have all of these different colors here because I don't like a super highlighted look under the eyes. I like it to look like semi-natural. So I mix two shades and I can never figure it out. Oh, honey and cocoa are the shades that I mix. And then if I want to do any kind of cream contouring, I use this shade, which is espresso. And I'm telling you, a little bit goes a long way. So literally you need to like just a couple dots and your brush or your beauty sponge will spread it out and blend it and they just look so amazing and I haven't heard a lot of people talk about this but these are amazing. The next concealer is a semi new one kind of like towards the end of the year and this is from the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer and this one I'm using is 70WO. So this is like really great coverage. It's really brightens the under eye. However, I will say I do mix it on days that I want it to be like a little bit toned down, like non-social media, Instagram makeup, days. I will mix it with other concealers that are a little bit darker just so I can have a nice blend. And I actually did that today so it doesn't look super highlighted. But this is a great concealer on its own as well. It's just, you know, your personal preference. It has great coverage. It's easy to use. I love the applicator. I've mentioned this so many times, but it's really great for spreading it out. And, you know, I just have to say there's a lot of concealers on the market, but I think this one does the job. All right, so let's talk about face powders. So what I did love from Fenty are the Pro Filter Powder. So I have two shades that I like to use. This one is for under the eyes. This one is called Honey. Now it does give that really nice faux filter blurring effect. 
Now I will say nothing lasts forever, so it doesn't last all day long, although I wish it did, <laughs> but it does look beautiful on the skin. I think that if you have dry to normal skin, you have to go in really, really light with these, like really light, because they can be quite mattifying, and if you go too ham under the eyes, they will make your under eyes look a bit dry. So just a little advice, but these are still amazing, and I like nutmeg, for the perimeter of the face, you know, adding a little bit of warmth, deepening it, just kind of giving it a nice cohesive finish to the skin. And even when I use a powder brush like this from Mill Techniques, it gives a really nice like flawless finish. So you can press it in with a beauty blender or a setting powder, or you can do like a nice sweeping motion around the face. Either way, it works amazing and I love the finish of that. Okay, so these next powders are for my girls that are on a budget. Oh my god, oh my god, that's me! And are trying to look fabulous but not break the bank. These are the CoverGirl Full Spectrum powders, and this one right here, which is tan golden, is what I use for underneath the eyes. And these containers. They're so nice. They're a bit clunky, so you know, if you want, you can take them out of this and put them in a Z palette if you like to use them. But um, honestly, if you're looking for something that's travel proof, I like that it's a bit more sturdy because it's not gonna be breaking easily. That's at least been my experience. Now, this deeper shade here is something that I use for contouring, and this one is Deep Cool 4. So I will just show you guys so you can see. But it's a really great contour shade if you're looking for something that's on the more affordable side. And again, I'm really surprised with this full spectrum collection that CoverGirl came out with this year because we really haven't seen too much from them in terms of great shade ranges. Usually it's Maybelline um, coming out with stuff and you know other brands kind of lag behind here. But I was really happy that CoverGirl picked it up. Of course, you know, we always want to see more. We always want to have more shades and make everybody feel included, but I'm really happy with some of the stuff that they did come out with. Now I do have to give you a little side note. One of my favorite CoverGirl foundations is the True Blend Matte Made, but it came out in 2018, I believe. So it's not in this video, but I'm just saying, if you're looking for a good mattifying foundation that's natural-ish to medium coverage, try that one. Okay, my favorite part of the video, let's be honest, I've been waiting this whole time to talk to you about eyeshadow palettes, okay? <laughs> but I tried to cut down how many I wanted to talk to you about because I am an eyeshadow palette fanatic. I love them, I love to collect them. Ugh, they just make me happy. But I thought it would be unreasonable to have like 30 palettes in this video, so I cut it down to about six. When they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. <laughs> that was hard. But let's talk about the first two. I am a nude shadow lover because it just goes with everything. Don't get me wrong, I love shimmer and stuff, but nude eyes are just, mm, there's something special. So you can see, I love this nude eye today. So if you like nude eyeshadows but you like want to spice it up a little bit, you should definitely check out the Huda Beauty Nude Medium and the Nude Rich. So let me show you the Nude Medium. Just looks so pretty. Now here's the thing about these. <laughs> when you see them on camera, it does not translate to how beautiful they are. They really are gorgeous on deep skin. If you, you know, don't want to take my word for it, that's totally fine. You can check them out on Sephora. And there's tons of reviews from women of color that love these two. So there's this one. It's got some nice mattifyings, great pinky, corally transitions. It's got some great shimmers in it. And then you have the Nude Rich, which is meant for everybody, but specifically they wanted to make it for those with deeper ebony skin and has a lot of pinky tones in it. So I like that these are newer. They're also a little bit more spiced up, like a newer imagined nude palette. They're not just to 
typical browns. They're just a little bit different. So I like the concept. I love how they look and perform on my lids and I just feel like I get tons of compliments like in real life when I wear them. So they're worth a shot. Now, if I say this, Jackie, 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 Jackie. You know who I'm talking about? Jackie, 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 I hope you do. Okay, <laughs> well then, uh, this palette right here, the Jackie Ina and ABH palette, I love. And look at this packaging here. It's flashy and it's loud, but in a great way, which is just like Jackie's personality. And I love that about her and her channel. And I feel like the packaging totally is like classy, a little bit of some flash. Ugh, there's just so many things to love about it. So let's open up the palettes. This is what it looks like. Now, initially when I saw this, I was kind of like unimpressed when I saw it on social media. And then I went to see it in person and I was like whoa <laughs> this is so beautiful and basically Jackie's goal was to make shades that were extremely pigmented that would translate really well on women of color and I think she did just that these are so fun and there are so many different shades that we don't see all the time and if you have a little bit of imagination you can really come up with some really great color combinations that don't just look like something that everybody else is wearing you know okay one more nude palette you know what I'm not even sure if this Juvia's Place palette came out in 2019. Might have been 2018, but I just discovered it last year. So, opening this up, this is just like a nude lover's dream. There's just so many wonderful things and wonderful shades about this. And literally, these are gigantic pants. Like, Juvia's Place does not play around. And I think I talked about this in one of my videos during the summer, and a lot of you guys said that you use this and you love this. You can always count on Juvia's Place for having amazing pigment. I mean, it looks like I haven't even used this palette because literally you just like dip it a little bit and you get so much pigment on your lids. It's really, really amazing. But uh, again, really great for nudes, especially nudes with shimmers or yellows and all that stuff. It's a lot of fun to play around with. Now, before you say this is only about nude palettes, I have a surprise for you. I have a color palette in here to talk about, okay? I'm not that boring. <laughs> this is the Makeup Revolution Tammy X palette. And I love, love, love Tammy. If you haven't watched her videos on Instagram, she's the bomb, okay? She comes up with so many cool eyeshadow shades and stuff. And I feel like this palette was really, really, really representative of her makeup style. Girl. <sighs> So I took off the protective cover for you guys, but when I look at this, I just think of the Caribbean. And I'm hate. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's not broken, okay? Great news. I'm a little bit clumsy and I did get some on my leggings, but you know what? That's not gonna stop me. And what I was trying to say is that I'm Haitian. So I love when I look at a palette like this and just reminds me of the Caribbean. What's there not to love? So what I wanna say is even though Makeup Revolution is a drugstore brand, you can find them in Ulta, these colors, they're very pigmented. They're easy to work with. If you've never worked with Makeup Revolution eyeshadows, I know Know that Tammy has a video on her YouTube channel where she talks about how to appropriately layer these shades. If that's something that you're interested in, you can head over to her channel after you watch this video and search for that. Now, the sixth palette that we're gonna talk about is the beautiful Tati Beauty palette. And I was really skeptical when I saw that she was launching her brand and it was gonna be this palette. And I was like, oh God, like what kind of product is this gonna be? What is this? You know, but I'm so happy that I did get this. I don't really know if the beauty of this translates 
correctly on camera, but I'm just going to say that if you see this in person, it's a really beautiful palette. It's just gorgeous. Like, see? Now you can kind of see those shades without it being too light. But um, basically, the concept of this is that you have four different textures. So you have a matte, you have sequin, metallic, and glitter. Damn! Then you also have these different rows of shades as you can see right here. And I love it because you can play around with shimmer, you can play around with metallic, and really come out with all of these different looks. And for today, I actually use this palette, this kind of neutral eye that I have going on here. So I use Soothe in the matte shade right here as my transition. I use Ritual in the outer corner. And then I use the Soothe Sequin for the actual main lid color. And when you get closer, you can actually see the shimmer on my lid. It looks beyond beautiful. Very, very easy to do. I didn't have to fight with these shades. They're very pigmented, I will say. So literally, just a little bit goes a long way. Okay, so let's talk about eye pigments. I'm obsessed with them. I love them. And I just find that they're a really cute and quick way to add some spice to your lids. So the first one I want to talk about is from Too Faced. Now I know these came out in 2019, but they are the Liquid Glitter Eyeshadows. And this one is Citrus Mistress. And this is like the most beautiful orange shade. I've worn it in a video before and I just get so many compliments. And it's literally like takes like two seconds to apply. And I love that. I love ease, convenience, and a little bit of spice up on my lids. Now, I've already talked to you guys about this, but I love these ColourPop Jelly So Much shadows. Like, they're bomb, okay? They're just easy to apply. They look amazing on the lids. And the ones I have here are Fly the Coop. I also have On the Fly. And this one's one of my favorites, Hoot and Hogler. And I've talked about these in my ColourPop Bye Bye Birdie review if you want to check them out. All right, so let's move on to some more complexion products. The first thing that I want to talk about are cheeks, blush, highlight, all that jazz. And this I've just been loving so much this year is the Natasha Denona Bloom Palette. And I've been talking about this for a while on my channel throughout the year, but this is a cheek palette. You've got a cream blush, you've got a cream highlight, and you've also got two different highlights. This is a duochrome peachy color, and this is more of a, I want to say like a champagne bright highlight, but not too bright for women with deeper skin tones. And the reason why I love talking about this is because it's so underrated. No one really talks about this. I don't really see any women of color really talking about this, but it is so beautiful. I'm wearing the blush and I like to go really, really light on the skin just because you can go really heavy and it'll last throughout the day, but I like that barely there blushed look. One other thing that I love about this is the packaging. It just looks so sleek. It is so travel friendly. It's really just an amazing find. And this is something that I would definitely repurchase, although honestly, a little bit goes a long way. Like I've used it a lot throughout the year and you can barely tell. <laughs> now let's talk about bronzer. There are two products that I've really, really, really loved this year or 2019. And the first one I've talked about a lot, it's the Benefit Hula Toasted. I've used this so much in 2019 and look, you can barely tell that it's been used. I don't know like what is going on with the formula, but I love that there isn't a lot of powder kickback when you swirl your brush in there, like there's none. And I mean, I use this a lot. I just love the way it naturally makes my face look more melanated, more sun-kissed, just like I came back from vacation. It just never fails me. Now, this second one here is from Fenty and it's called Mocha Mommy. And I did a review on this and I compared it to the Coco Naughty shade. I really like this more because I like more of a deeper 
bronzer. The Coco Naughty is nice, but it's more of a subtle bronzer if that's your speed. But this is really nice. When I have to compare it to the Benefit, I will have to say that the Benefit has more of a warmer tone than Mocha Mommy, but they're both beautiful on the skin. They blend amazingly. You can use it even if you wanna add a little bit of definition in the nose. I like to use bronzer instead of contour just cause I like that warmth aspect of it. But there are so many different places you can put both of these products. So another cheek product that I've been talking about a lot on my channel and really like the month of November was when I really got to like discover it. And this is the ColourPop Blush Sticks. This is the blush in Aviary and the highlighting stick in Flycatcher. Now I've talked about this before so I'll just be brief about this, but this blush is more of a barely there hint of flush look. And this surprisingly is one of the most beautiful champagne stick highlighters. It glides effortlessly and it looks beautiful on deeper skin. Okay, so now we've come to lip products. When we're talking about lip products, I really did not venture out too much. <laughs> I kind of stuck with my favorites, but in terms of things that came out this year, I have to say this is a little bit of a different nude color. This is from Physicians Formula, and this is the Muru Muru Butter Lipstick. What I love about this is it's so creamy, and this is like a beautiful, like, peachy nude, if you can see that there, goes amazing with any brown liner of your choice. Now I will say what I love about this is that you can find it at the drugstore. Uh, Physician's Formula is available in almost any drugstore, so it's really easy to find, it's really affordable, and a little bit goes a long way, and it just feels so moisturizing on the lips, especially these winter months can be really tough on the skin. I know my lips get crusty, Ew. so. <laughs> I really like the formula because I feel like my lips are staying moisturized. Okay, so I'm a gloss girl. I think most of you guys know this by now. I love me some gloss. My lip gloss is cool. my lip gloss be so I'm usually a big Fenty Gloss Bomb fan, but seeing as how that didn't come out in 2019, I wanted to show you a new gloss that I discovered, and this is also from the drugstore. This is from Milani. This is the Gloss in Gold Dust. Um, I don't see the name of the line of the gloss, but it's the shade is Gold Dust. Now I will say this has more of a tingling effect to it, but it's clear and it has a uh, gold reflex if you can see that in there, so beautiful. Now, I will have to say a little bit goes a long way because it's a thicker gloss, but it's not globby. You just need just a little bit because the shine really comes off and it's very like powerful. So it really depends, it can be your preference, but I love this gloss for my lip combos that I do and it's just, mm, it's like scrumptious, I love it. Now, if you're still here, thank you so much for kicking it with me. If you want to see some more products that I've loved, check out my Best in Beauty series from last year. It's got some amazing goodies, so you don't want to miss out. As always, I love you guys so much. Thank you for kicking it with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!